An act of violence on French Street marks the eighth homicide, as we told you, in Buffalo since the new year began. And this morning, neighbors are looking for a way to stop this tragic trend. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live for us in the newsroom. Liz, what are they doing? Well, Ed and Katie, community leaders, parents, even the youth themselves yesterday coming together to share a very clear message. Enough is enough and the violence here needs to stop. And that is exactly the message that Pastor Darius Pridgen wanted to spread yesterday. As you mentioned, eight homicides, not even a month into the new year. And something has to change. Just some of the powerful words that Pastor Pridgen shared with young people yesterday at a community meeting held in the shadow of those recent tragedies over this past month. An opportunity, he says, for many to bond, share their experiences, even a little anger about the violence some have witnessed. Others continue to fear more and more every day. Pridgen says events like these, conversations like these make a difference. This is not the only event like this happening across this city. There are so many people who are working on different areas to stop the violence. So when people say, you know, there's not enough going on. Well, my feeling is there is so much going on that these numbers could be much, much higher. And we don't want to see them go higher. We want to see them stop. Now, as part of the relationship building process, people of all ages filled out questionnaires, giving them the opportunity to share their feelings about the recent gun violence, feelings some may have never shared before. All of this, an effort to make an impact, Pastor Pridgen says. Now, the event, as you can see last night, was very packed. Parents, their kids, other loved ones, all sharing the same sentiment that something needs to be done, and it needs to be done now. In the newsroom, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. Liz, thank you.